Good evening. In 1988, Missourians passed a constitutional amendment that allows the General Assembly to conduct a special session when it deems necessary. For the first time in the history of our state, the General Assembly has initiated this constitutional provision. Just a few minutes ago, a petition was delivered to the Secretary of State calling the General Assembly into a special session beginning on May 18th. This was not a decision made lightly and certainly not without great deliberation and effort. As everyone knows, it requires the signatures of three-fourths of the members of the House and three-fourths of the members of the Senate. Regretfully, the call of this historic act is for the sole purpose to consider the findings and recommendation of the House Committee, including disciplinary actions against Governor Greikens. Members signed this petition because they believe in a fair process that will not be rushed to conclusion by an artificial deadline. But make no mistake about it, today's actions ensure that there will be a conclusion to this process. The power to discipline elected officials is the most serious of legislative powers. In recognition of this fact, the House and the Senate agree that the committee should have the time it needs to conduct a fair, thorough, and timely investigation. This decision to go into special session means as our regular session continues, the committee will move forward with its charge to investigate and collect relevant information surrounding the conduct of Governor Greitens. The full General Assembly, however, will remain focused on what has quietly turned into one of the most successful sessions in my time here. This means that we will complete our constitutional duty of passing a balanced budget while also addressing the issues that are important to Missourians. Let me conclude by saying this. This path is not the one that I would have chosen for Missourians or my colleagues. I had hoped from the beginning of this process that the committee would find no wrongdoing so that we could bring this investigation to a close and put all of our attention on the issues that matter most to Missouri families. Unfortunately, this is where the facts led. We will not avoid doing what is right just because it is hard, just because it is not the path we hope to travel. Therefore, we have taken the unprecedented step to continue to follow the facts wherever they may lead. With that, the pro tem has a few comments. Thank you, Speaker. Um, yeah, when we signed up for this job, this is exactly where we wanted to be. As a student of history, as a speaker, I recognize the mon monumental effort and the, and the consequences of this action. We do respect the process. I do believe the speaker is right that extra time may be needed to make sure all the facts are found. Um, Things have changing here in the last several weeks, minute by minute. The speaker and I have met numerous times talking over process and uh, how we proceed. I have to congratulate him on his effort, his team, the majority leader in the House and Senate for their efforts. I will agree that in spite of uh, some distractions we have had, including today, a great effort within the Senate passing legislation and debate. I think that speaks volumes of our members in the House and Senate. Uh, the Senate stands ready to do their constitutional duty. The House and Senate both have their obligations, and we stand ready to do it if called upon. And in the meantime, we'll continue to do the people's work on the budget, and um, I think the Speaker is willing to take questions. Take a few questions. Does this mean the Governor yeah, will be? Go ahead, David. How many signatures? 138 in the House and 29 in the Senate. Uh, that represents well over 80% of the members of both chambers. 
Does this mean the governor will be impeached or only that it is on the table? This means that the committee will have the time it needs to finish the charge we gave it from the beginning, which is to conduct a fair, thorough, and timely investigation and report back to the House of Representatives any recommendations that it has. So you're envisioning that the committee will need part of that extra 30 days to complete its work before there's any kind of resolution or not? Yes, I'm anticipating that, that the committee needs that additional time. How much additional time they need will depend uh, on where the facts lead them. But as I said a couple of weeks ago, this is not going to be a process that has an artificial deadline, but the committee is going to work as expeditiously as it can to complete its work. But you do only have a 30-day clock starting on the 18th. That's so correct. Is there a drop-dead time by which you must have a resolution in order to get that to the finish line if that's where the committee goes? Our special session uh, can continue for 30 days. So we will complete our work in that 30-day time period. Have you had any conversations with the governor this week? I have not. Does the 30 day time period mean you would have to act on the recommendations within that 30 days, or could you just call another 30 day session? We will finish our work within that period of 30 days. Is the committee going to call more witnesses? The committee is, is in the process of collecting more facts, calling more witnesses, and reviewing more documents. Mr. Speaker, yes, sir. Uh, your, your former predecessor, speak, former Speaker Hannaway, said yesterday that this was a disservice, the committee reported disservice to the Missouri and U.S. constitutions. She said that they did not cross-examine witnesses. Any reaction to her statements? The committee's mission at the outset was to collect facts. From the very beginning of this process, the committee has made itself available for any witness the governor wanted to produce, to take testimony from the governor, to review any documents. They remain open to that. So the assertion that the committee has not done its work in reviewing all of the evidence is not something I agree with. Thank you all very much. I have a question for Ron. This call basically affects the House. What do you anticipate the Senate doing, at least during the early part of this special session, while, while the House is looking at the committee's work and considering whether or not they would have articles of impeachment? I mean, we don't have any action item until the House does their job as part of the Constitution. We will, at, at, at some outset, if needed, pick seven eminent jurists. And um, I will tell you that we've, we've uh, I've contacted, the majority of our contacted some, uh, some people on the bench that are retired that you'd all recognize, and I'm not gonna mention their names asking for process, asking how things would proceed. Um, but uh, we we have not, all we do is talk about the process in case something happened today. Will you be releasing the names of those who signed the 29? I think that's up to Secretary of State. Yeah. That'd be a public record. At, uh, you guys adjourned and signed it. The process that we started vetting potential judges have, yet? Have not. So you would anticipate a number of technical sessions until some time the House gives you something to do? Um, you know, I, I'm not sure if we have to have technical sessions or not. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll check and see. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't considered that. I, I need to let the House do their job and see what happens before we're engaged. Quick procedural question. You guys adjourn sign a die 6 p.m. May 18th. So at that point, do you instantly gavel into special session? Do you wait 30 minutes? How's that work? That's about that's about it. It should take about 30 minutes. Gavel out and gavel back in. We're in special session, yes. And then the first night is just organizing, calling yourself into special and telling everybody you're here. That's more or less it. I mean, keep in mind, it's new territory. We haven't done this before. So uh, you might visit with our attorney, Cindy Cadillac. And she'll give you some details of the process. If she's in the audience, you'll visit her after the press conference. Okay, thank you all. Thank you. One more. Is there, uh, when the second report that was released, did that help put the, the number of senators signing over the finish line? I don't know, but it validated my comments weeks ago. Thank you. Thank you.